When it started, it was pandemonium. And everybody's freaking out. Oh my God! Mobs around the game, it was a phenomenon. Oh my God, there's lines out the door everywhere. Nobody said we couldn't do it, so we did it. There were no rules. It was the Wild West of video game creation. When we first tested the Mortal Kombat game, there was nothing like it. Gameplay violence, story. There was a combination that just resonated with players. One really important part of Mortal Kombat success was the secret element to it. We never documented anywhere how to do the special moves. You just had to learn them. You're playing in an arcade and someone's like, hey, how'd you do that? Ah, oh, it's a secret. If you did this, this, and this, Reptile would jump out and he would attack you. And it was like, oh my god, that wasn't expected. Fatalities became such a huge part of Mortal Kombat. It wasn't just the violent part, it was the fact that it was a cool secret that nobody knew about. This one where Ermac sort of turns your body inside out and stretches you out and like brings your esophagus out. And that was like one of the grossest ones I've ever seen. So maybe that's maybe that's my favorite one. Mortal Kombat always kind of had a, a sense of humor to it. We thought it was funny. I was surprised at how much influence the different versions of Mortal Kombat had to the console wars. There was two versions of the game that came out. One was on Super Nintendo, one was on the Genesis. The Genesis played better and the Super Nintendo looked better. It wasn't until, you know, about a year after we made the first Mortal Kombat that it was coming out in the home systems and it just became, you know, this um, kind of cultural phenomenon of Mortal Kombat. You know, that commercial? It just fueled that fire that was Mortal Kombat. Obviously, we had no idea that it was going to immerse itself into the culture the way it has. Even people who don't play video games know what Mortal Kombat is. It still hits me, like, when I see Mortal Kombat referenced on TV. Someone says, finish him, you know what that's from. Even if it's not the reference from Mortal Kombat, you still think it's a reference from Mortal Kombat. I love the art that the MK community has created. It's an honor that people are so inspired by the stuff that we did. We never take that for granted. It's like we have the best fans in the world. After 25 years of support, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Toasty, thank you for being there with us for this incredible ride. The continued support for 25 years has driven our team trying to exceed their expectations of what the next Mortal Kombat should be. I'm really excited about the future of Mortal Kombat. There's endless possibilities. If we're allowed to do any new ones, you know, I'm not allowed to talk about anything secret or anything coming up. I've said too much already.